Well, a favorite Bay Area attraction is getting a dramatic new home. The Exploratorium broke ground nine months ago for its new space on the San Francisco waterfront. In tonight's Assignment 7, Dan Ashley has a progress report on the new digs for one of the world's top hands-on science museums. Where do you go to watch an eclipse, play with a laser, or see a yo-yo grandmaster? For more than 40 years, the answer has been the Exploratorium at the Palace of Fine Arts near the Golden Gate Bridge. But the Exploratorium is moving to a couple of dilapidated piers that will soon become a city showplace. Piers 15 and 17 are just north of the ferry building on San Francisco's Embarcadero. This location gives us the opportunity to really do new kinds of exhibits, exhibits about the environment, the bay, exhibits about the outdoors that we really can't do in our current location. The pier buildings are big barn-like structures that stretch 800 feet over the bay. Pier 15 will be developed first, recreated as a state-of-the-art science museum with exhibits that can grow and change over time. But that's just the start. Part of the Exploratorium's gift to the city is to provide roughly two acres of civic space for the public to just come and enjoy the area. And to that end, they're expanding this deck as sort of an outdoor recreation area for the public. The space in between the piers used to be a parking lot. This is what it looked like in February. Now it's being removed little by little. Project manager Joe Mazzetti showed me around. We're standing where the public will be. This is the view looking back toward the city where the parking lot was. And this is an artist's rendering of what it will look like when it's finished sometime in 2013. So when the public is here, they're going to get this new jewel in the Exploratorium, and they'll be able to see this magnificent view of the bay. Absolutely, and, and remember, the America's Cup is coming as well. The finish line and the start line is practically here. Is that right, right here? <laughs> it's very close. The front of the buildings will keep the same historic look, but under the piers, there is a major overhaul for earthquake safety. First, divers inspected the pilings that were already there. And they go down there with lights and, and look at physically look at each piling? <laughs> right, it's mostly fill because of the darkness. And, oh, they and physically touch it, yes, too, because yes. they can't see clearly. Right. Many old pilings are being repaired, but this time-lapse video shot by the Exploratorium shows the biggest seismic strengthener, giant new pilings up to 160 feet long. Crews use a vibrating process that slowly pushes the pilings into the bay mud. When it's finished, the Exploratorium will have three times the exhibit space it does now. That's three times the space to amaze and to educate. In San Francisco, Dan Ashley, ABC 7 News. So cool. Well, the project is suspected to cost about $300 million. The nonprofit Exploratorium is still working to raise all that money.